Hey Fly Tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pretty simple little fly called a flash bugger. This one comes from Three Brothers Flies and I'll put a link in the description to the original. And basically this is a panfish uh, fly for things like perch and bluegills, pumpkin seeds, sort of that nature. But it's a pretty simple fly and I would also probably consider using this for uh, fishing steelhead and salmon in the fall. But basically you can switch out the color of the tail and the color of the estaz. Um, some of the more popular combinations would be this pink and blue, also pink chartreuse, gray, black, olives, browns, natural colors. Makes a good minnow imitation. Don't forget to leave a message in the comments and I'll get you entered into our next draw. So let's have a look at the material list and get started. get started with a fresh hook in the vise and I've put a bead on this one already and the hook we're using is a Mustad Signature S82-3906B and it's a uh, two extra long and three extra heavy so this is a nice uh, heavier hook that's going to be able to stand up to some bigger fish. So we'll start off by adding some thread. We're going to be using some Danville flat wax nylon and this is a fluorescent pink. I believe the color is 503 on this, um, but it's a 210D. And we'll just uh, tie on behind the bead down to the hook point and then back again just to put a base layer of thread. We'll snip off that tag end. For our tail, we're going to be using a piece of marabou. And I like to use just a piece where all the tips kind of meet right at the end. It gives you a bit of a manufactured look but uh, I think for this pattern it's uh, a nice nice look for it. So we'll make the tail about the same length as the body and we'll tie that in on top of the hook shank. We just want to kind of try and keep the marabou fibers on top. We'll trim away the butt ends of those. Clean up that afterwards and we'll just tie that down with more or less touching turns down to our hook point or a little bit beyond it. Uh, so for the material we're going to be using some Estaz and we're going to be using the opal dark blue for this one. And one thing I usually do is just pull off a few of the fibers just to make a clean tie-in point just a little bit more secure. We'll tie that down tight and then we'll take our thread back up just behind the bead and then we'll start palmering up this estas so every time I wrap it around I just want to pull all those fibers back and that'll make it a nice dense body and so for this we're gonna take up a few wraps and we want to just make sure that we have that covered completely and then when we get to the head we're just gonna tie that off we're gonna make sure we tie it down behind the bead then we'll put a couple wraps in front. Try not to trap any of the fibers down. And then we'll pull that up and trim it away. So all we got left to do on this is just add a whip finish and a little bit of glue and we're good to go. So like I said before, there's a number of different color combinations you can tie this in. So basically any color of marabou you have, any color of estaz, but uh, just uh, do some experimenting and see what works best for you. Chartreuse and blue is a great bright combination and these work really well. Uh, these brighter colors when you're fishing some murkier water in some of the ponds where these panfish and uh, perch and bluegill are going to be living. So you got a nice bright fly. This is uh, an attractor minnow and I hope it does well for you.
Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.